Okay, so this is just a quick guide on how to uh, record audio um, on a Chromebook. Uh, this is one way I found. There are actually quite a few ways of doing it. So I'm just going to turn on screen sharing to see if I can demonstrate this. Okay, so that. Okay, so this is the um, app I use. It's called Twisted Wave. You get it from twistedwave.com. Um, you also get it from the, um, the Chrome Apps store. So I've got it pinned as an app down here. And um, let's get rid of that. So basically, you can um, create um, audio tracks of this. I'll show you a couple of things. Um, if you click on New Document, uh, you'll get something that if you've used, say, the likes of Audacity before. On a PC, looks um, very familiar, really. And uh, I'm going to see what happens when I try and record some audio while doing a hangout simultaneously. This may or may not work, so we'll see. So that's the record button, and we'll see whether we can record some audio. Okay, it looks like we can certainly record some audio, and you see you get the um, the waveform being generated as you record the track. That's probably enough for now. So when you now you've got your waveform, um, you can do all the sorts of things that you might have done in something like Audacity or other applications like that. You can loop the playback. You've got a lot of effects that you can do, so you can amplify it, normalize it, fade in and out. You can reverse the sound if you want. You can apply a whole range of um, psychedelic effects which have got a huge range of parameters which you can configure and the other thing which is of course really useful on a Chromebook is that you can send it straight to your Google Drive as an mp3 track um, I'll give it a name test my voice okay so if I play it back again it'll be interesting to see how this comes out on the hangout I turn my volume up so Chromebook might record itself. Oops, helps you start at the top. Start. Okay, it looks like we can certainly record some audio, and you see you get the um, the waveform being generated as you record the track. That's probably enough. Okay, so we played that back. Let's add an effect. Let's do something simple like reverse it. There we go. Play a bit of that. So there's a uh, reversed audio track. Um, but there's certainly lots of things you can explore in terms of the configuration. Undo buttons and everything as well. But if you just want to record audio, then you do whatever you're going to do with that audio track and put it into a Google site perhaps or whatever. Um, you can send that to um, Google Drive, and it's got a name. You can choose the type of audio file you're going to export it as. I'm going to have an MP3, so I generally find that to be the most useful. You can choose a few other settings as well, and then you can send that to your Google Drive. It takes a moment or two to encode, so we can close that now. And if I go to files in my Google Drive with a tiny bit of luck um, if I sort it by date modified there we go test my voice mp3 so it dumps it into the root of your Google Drive you can sort of bug it in whatever folder you want now I double click on that I think that's enough of my reversed voice but anyways it just does mean that you can relatively easily record and manipulate audio files on a Chromebook. But of course, you can use Twisted Wave on anything with a web browser. It doesn't have to be a Chromebook, but it's a quite a nice way of doing it on a Chromebook. Anyways, I'll stop there. But that's just a